Tuesday. I figure written on Saturday, in spite of Sunday already arrived Tuesday noon, on Tuesday torn from the hands of the maid. Such wonderful mail service, and Monday I'm supposed to leave and give it up. You are so kind to worry. You miss my letters, yes. There were a few days last week when I didn't write. But I have every day since Saturday, so that you'll receive three letters in the meanwhile, which will make you praise the letterless time. You will realise that absolutely all of your fears are justified, namely that I am very mad at you in general, and in particular your letters contain many things I did not like. The feuilletons annoyed me, etc. No, Milena, you shouldn't be afraid of all that, but the opposite should make you tremble. It's so wonderful to have received your letter, to have to answer it with my sleepless brain. I can't think of anything to write. I'm just walking around here between the lines, underneath the light of your eyes, in the breath of your mouth, like in some beautiful, happy day, which stays beautiful and happy, even if my head is sick, tired, and if I have to leave Monday via Munich. You ran home on my account out of breath. Then aren't you sick, and don't have to worry about you any more? It really is like that. I don't have any worries at all. No, I'm exaggerating as much now as I was back then. But it's the kind of worry I'd have if you were here under my supervision, if I were simultaneously giving you nourishment with the milk I drink, giving you strength with the air I breathe as it wafts up from the garden. No, all that isn't enough it would have to give you much more strength than it does me. For various reasons, I will probably not leave Monday, but a little later. However, then I'm travelling directly to Prague. Recently they added a direct express train, Bozen, Munich, Prague. In case you still want to write me a few lines, you could. If they don't reach me, they will be forwarded to Prague. Stay good to me. I really am a paragon of stupidity. I am reading a book about Tibet. At the description of a settlement in the mountains, on the Tibetan border, my heart suddenly grows heavy. So hopelessly forlorn does the village seem to me, so far from Vienna. What I consider stupid is the idea that Tibet is far from Vienna. Would it really be far?